Hey there, Happy Coders. This is Kevin from Happy Coding, and today I'm going to run through the very first steps that you follow when you're running a Tomcat server. Uh, this can be really useful if you're getting into like server-side coding because it lets you run a server on your own computer without needing to uh, set up or even pay for uh, a live server like uh, Google Cloud or, or Amazon Web Services or whatever. Um, so it requires a few steps and I'm going to just kind of walk through. So you can read this on happycoding.io here, but I'm just going to kind of run through it myself. So the first thing I want to do is download Tomcat. So I'm going to go here to the Tomcat webpage and I'm going to go over here and look for a download link. Um, I'm going to get the latest version, which currently is Tomcat 10. So I'm looking for like a zip file. Here we go. And that's going to download this, um, you know, zip file, which is a file that contains a whole directory. So it's like an easier way to download multiple files. And when that finishes, um, I'm going to just click it. Actually, I just open up my downloads um, folder. I think it's right now. It's like checking it for viruses or something. Thanks, Chrome. Real helpful. Okay, I think now it's done. And so I have my zip file and I wanna just put that anywhere. You can put it anywhere you want. Um, I'm gonna unzip it onto my desktop for now. And this is extracting the directory from the zip file and turning it into a directory that's on my, on my desktop in this case. Again, you can put it anywhere you want, but just for the purposes of this video, I'm gonna put it on my desktop. I, I tend to usually have like a code directory that I put a bunch of this stuff into, but whatever, you can put it anywhere. That's the whole point. Um, cool, let me remember what I need to do next. <laughs> uh, right, so I have this directory and you can kind of peruse it. You don't care about most of the files in here, but I wanna maybe draw your attention to a few things. One is this bin directory, which contains a couple of, of different files that will run various things. We care mostly about this, this startup file or this startup file, depending on which OS you're on. And then in a second, we're gonna talk about this web apps directory. So you can click through those and peruse those if you want. But for now, I'm gonna to go to bin and I'm going to run my Tomcat server, which is going to run a server on my computer uh, by clicking on this file, startup.bat. I'm on Windows, so I'm gonna run this. I actually don't know. I think you can run any of these anywhere. I'm honestly not sure, but whatever, run. And this will spit out a bunch of stuff and then it'll say something like server startup in blah, blah, blah milliseconds. So it runs pretty fast. And at this point I have run my server. So it's not like too exciting to look at here, but what that means is I can open up a web browser and I can navigate to uh, localhost colon 8080. And this is the localhost is like the name of my personal machine. And then 8080 is the port that, that Tomcat is using. So if I navigate to that, that is running the, that is, that is viewing the server that, that I just ran. So this is the content of the server that I just ran. And you know, maybe what I should have done first is let me kill this server. So now I'm no longer running the server. And what I'm going to do is navigate to localhost 8080. And not surprisingly, what's going to happen is we're going to get an error message um, because no, this isn't a, a URL that's on the internet. This is a URL that's like on our local machine. So right now I'm not running a server and so it's not going to work. So if I go back in here and I run my server again, and wait for that startup message and then I refresh here now it's going to work again so that's kind of showing you that this is running on our local machine because of the server that we just ran okay so then I'm going to go back to the Tomcat directory and I'm going to call attention to this web apps folder which contains a couple of things and so I'm going to maybe look at I don't know let's say docs so that means I can go to localhost 8080 slash docs and again, this is content that's coming from our local computer, our local machine, and it's in here. 
um, you can see that like these uh, these files, this docs directory, um, these files are being served by Tomcat at this URL. So docs here and docs here, they're kind of referring to the same thing. So this is the HTML content being served from, from this directory. So I bet there's like an index.html. Yeah, so I could do something like, I don't know, let's just see kind of, so this is the HTML content. This is just an HTML file that contains the, um, the content that's being shown here. Um, so you can click through and, and match them if you want to, if you're curious about how it all fits together. Um, you can also go and look at some of the other things. So there's an examples web app. And you can click through here to see different examples of, of various technologies and whatnot, and then go look at the source code for them if you want to. Um, to you know, familiarize yourself with with some of the concepts, um, you know, totally up to you. But what I'm going to do is create a new web app. So I want to start writing my own server code, um, or at least my own front end code. So I'm going to create a new folder, and I'm going to call it I don't know my test website. I'm bad at naming things, and I'm especially bad at naming things when I am in the middle of one of these uh, videos, but whatever. And then I'm going to create a new, I don't know, new text document here, and I'm going to just call it like index.html. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm going to steal some HTML content uh, from somewhere, from myself. So let's see, yeah, let's steal this stuff. The content itself isn't super important. I just want to get something showing. So I'm going to paste that in. And this is HTML content that um, if you're not familiar with, you can go check out the HTML tutorials on happycoding.io. But um, it only, it's only a few tags, so you can probably guess at what it's going to do anyway. Uh, all right, so what do I want to do now? I want to go back over here to my to my browser and what did I call this thing my test website so what I should be able to do is go to my test website and slash index.html and there you go you have the content that we just created in this file being served at our local uh, URL here so to kind of prove that this is working I'm going to say something like eh, I'm going to change this text to I am a local server save that and then refresh over here and you see the content is is uh, reflected in the web page itself so that that workflow is going to be pretty common so you're going to edit your file over here and you're going to refresh a page over here so that you can you know test your changes locally and that's another reason that that local servers are, are super useful because you can test your changes before you actually deploy them to your live server which lets you, you know, break things temporarily and whatnot without having to be afraid that a real user in the world is going to see your, your bad CSS or whatever. Um, cool. So next, uh, what's the other thing I want to do? Okay. So I want to maybe draw attention to the fact that when we first went to localhost 8080, we saw some content and so where is this coming from? And the answer to that is if you go back to this web apps directory, this uh, each one represents like a sub URL. So we went to slash docs, we went to slash examples, we went to slash my test website. Uh, notice this like root web app. And this is kind of a magic name that if you name your web app root, then it doesn't have a, a sub URL or sub path. I don't know what that thing's called, but it doesn't have a slash. So if I go in here to root, this, uh, this is the web app that's being served here. So I'm going to, I don't know if this will let me delete this while it's running. Let's see how oh, it does. And I'm going to rename my test website to root. So now root contains the index file that that I just created using the copy pasted HTML. So now what I want to do is I'm going to refresh the page here and what I should see is my content without the uh, my test website subdomain or sub URL, whatever it's called. And there you go. So this is handy if um, 
you know, it kind of depends on what your goal is. So some people are running a server in order to have, you know, multiple websites and multiple things going at once. And other people are just trying to develop a single website and they don't really care about the, the slash path, the slash manager, slash example, slash docs, whatever. Um, so if that's your use case, then you can call your web app directory root and you won't have to worry about any any subdirectory stuff. I'm actually kind of just curious. Will this work if I do root here? I, I actually don't know. Uh, no, it doesn't. So you can't you can't even use root even if you want to. Uh, so root maps to like just the pure like the top uh, of the localhost. So it's like localhost slash eighty eighty slash ignore root. Go directly to the files in here. And you can put other files in here if you want to. You can put images and CSS and JavaScript and all that good stuff. And it'll all work kind of how you might expect it to. Uh, you can also do server side coding, which is probably what you actually came here to do. But I'm going to save that stuff for the next video. Uh, my goal with this video was to really get Tomcat downloaded and have the first kind of hello world web app running which in our case is a single html file um, so that's where i want to end the video here uh, from here you can edit your html file and include other files like images and css and javascript and all that stuff um, but chances are that what you actually want to do is keep working through the tutorials so if you're working from happycoding.io this uh, video basically covers everything that was in tomcat setup and the next video is going to be uh, some of this anatomy of a web app stuff where we're going to get more into how to build server side coding but that'll be the next video uh, so for now i'll just say thanks for watching have a great day and as always of course happy coding